apostolic centers are to be sending centers where apostolic teams go in and out. Where apostolic teams go in and out. And there's a lot more to what an apostolic... I mean, I could spend a long time on each of these points. I'm not going to do this that now. Later we will. But you need to know what you're involved in. It's not church as usual, guys. It's not church as usual anymore. Things are shifting and changing in the body of Christ. We're in a shift. We're in a change. I believe we're, in a, a, gonna be, we're gonna see a great awakening. Mm. And God is preparing the wineskin. He always gets the wineskin prepared and then he pours in the new wine. Amen. And then he pours in the new wine. Because, and I'll tell you what, that wineskin has to be oiled up real good. So it's flexible. That wine skin has to be so flexible that it feels it can bend any direction and will not lose the wine. The wine of the Holy Spirit. And I don't know what this is going to look like. I don't have a one, two, three formula. The formula is not there. But God is doing it and God is the one that times things we will get our direction from heaven we don't change just for the fun of it because fun ain't fun ain't change ain't fun <laughs> it's not change is not fun I mean we had so many people shaken out of here because of the change even change that happened in worship People are unable sometimes. They're not bad people. They're good people. But they're unable to change. With, and sometimes the change looks like, good grief, what are we doing? It does. How many of you ever felt that way? Good grief, what are we doing? I know, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going the way of heaven. We're going to a place of the greatest power and authority you've ever seen. We're going to a place where there's freedom, yet there's protection. We're going to a place where the new wine is going to be sustained. And these centers are being raised up across the world. A training, equipping center, a worship center, a house of prayer. To me, prayer is vital. It's absolutely, to me, that's foundational. We're going to see a company of overcoming believers who do the works of Jesus in the earth. Who do the works of Jesus in the earth. And it's going to take this new wineskin. It's going to take equipping and training. And I wish I had a formula for everything. I do, boy, I like formulas. I like one, two, three, four, here we go. I love that. It's not, I don't know what the formula is. I believe probably one of the things is stay humble, stay low. Stay small in your own sight. Humility is a key. Meekness is a key. I believe every person here says, I want to be a part of this apostolic reformation. I want to be a part of it. If it's just a small little piece of the puzzle, I want to be that piece. I want to do my part. I want to see, wow, that power and authority, the government of God put in place. Government is not a bad word. God is government. The government is on his shoulders. God is order. He sets order. He sets boundaries so the river, when it begins to flow, it will not destroy. 
It will bring life wherever it goes. We've got to have the governmental order to protect what God is doing. I'll tell you what happens if you just have if you just have the structure and no new lines. I would, I don't want that. We don't want that. We want the new wine skin in place, flexible and oiled. Stay oiled. And then we want the new wine. The new wine. The new wine. I've tasted a little bit of it. Whoa. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. And if we're built on a right foundation, I'll tell you what, the shaking is going to get worse. There's going to be more shaking. But only that which is built right is going to stand. Whether it's your personal life or a corporate body that you belong to. <coughs> There's going to be a lot of shaking. There already is. <laughs> There's going to be more. I, the dark, made it darker. But I'll tell you what, God's got an answer. The light's going to get a lot brighter. The light is going to get brighter and brighter and brighter. 